hello guys how all are you i hope you all are doing well so in this video i will be showing how you can install new released version 2.4.5 magento on your window machine with xamp server means local host so let's get started first we need xamp we will install xamp with the requirement they have given in magento devdocs.magento.com page you can check here system requirements for every type of versions for magento 2.4.5 2.4.4 so we are installing 2.4.5 so we need php version 8.8 .8. so we we'll install link and download this php version so we don't need 8.0.19 we need 8.1 and upper so we can download from here right so it's been downloading it will take uh, approximately uh, one minute you can see it's been now you have to click on ok now you have to click on next next again now you can change the drive here as per your uh, choice and requirement as per your memory limit on select folder now click on next then next again next it's, it has been started here it will take time approximately 5 to 10 minutes It can be less, it can be more as per your system speed. So guys, XAMPP is downloaded successfully. So we'll check. First, we need to click on finish for completing the XAMPP setup wizard. So it will be, uh, it will finish uh, after this. Now, we will click on start button to start the apache server and sql right so now we will check it is done. our php my admin is working very very fine and it's also worked xam as well now uh, next step is we will download composer for magento installation so how we can download composer download here simply right on google so click on this get composer.org link now click over here composer setup.exe file right so here we have link so we need to click over here with this composer will install click on yes next click on next next you can see here php version 8.1.6 finish now you can check composer like this open command from opt cmd with short form if we can write here like this so now our composer has been installed successfully with the version latest version 2.3.10 our next step is we need to download you can download elastic search so we are installing for windows so we will click over here so it is in magento via composer command So we will use this command composer create project. 
will create a project in this folder uh, download the all files window folder everything we don't need to uh, download that so we have this command to run on cmd yeah it's downloading right here project community edition it will take time so be be patient with this while downloading the magento project magento it will take time okay so we got issue with php.ini so what is giving error root composer.json it is missing from system install so it is saying gd extension is missing from php so how we can resolve this issue go to uh, xam control panel go to apache config open php.ini so find for gd extension it's down here so we need to remove the semicolon then save okay and then restart the apache and mysql right so now next we need to delete this folder now run again this command now another error is uh, it is requires extension sop now same step go to config php.ini file then find sop soap find next extension remove semicolon right then save then close file restart apache and mysql Oh, oh. Yep. now again delete this folder again run this command now this time this is giving error extension sodium so again go to config file php.ini sodium so we need to remove this semicolon so another we have to also remove for this socket as well it will also give error for this extension excel xsl and another error is for intl it's done gd is done uh i think it's good to go save this file restart apache sql now run before this we need to delete this folder now run this command as well again i think it should work this time because we have enabled sorry um to install sam it comes first time and every time so we need to solve these errors with the required php extensions so our merchant external installation has been started so it will take time uh, you can see it's going on 16 percent 17 percent so it depends on your systems speed so it is done our magento 
composer command you can see it's successfully done there is no error and now we will check in magento folder here project community addition there are all the folders app vendor all the things are there so we will do one thing control x then control v right so we need to delete this one this folder right now we have next step we will install with our magento composer command set up command here so this is the command to install the magento now we will edit this command 2. Point, we have version 2.4.5 db we will create 245 all the thing will be same so we will create db here in php my admin php my admin uh oh mission two two four five create so it's been created you can see here now we will run this command it's it's done composer we have checked already so we have this command we will run here to install the magento cross finger it should run properly without errors yeah it's been running great so you can So here you can see we will get the error for elastic search for this we need to add the elastic search folder now we got the error we will fix this error how to fix this error we will search this error on here is the solution so we will go in this file path we will find this line here We will replace this line. Now we will run this command again. command now we will check on front end is it working fine or not here we have the url 2.4.5 oh why it's not working because we don't have index file first we will replace the dot htxs with the dot htxs sample like this right next step we need to add the
sorry. Oops. Now it's working fine. You can check. So admin. What will be the admin? One, two, three. Yeah, it's working. It's working fine. Front end is also working fine. Back end is also working fine with 2.4.5 new version, latest version of Magento. So guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and don't forget to share this video with your colleagues so that they can get benefit uh, who are beginners they can also follow this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel